Hi everybody in my TSTO Harry Potter YouTube channel. Okay, so today I'm doing the second part of the TLSQ, The Lost Prophecy. This part two is called The Secrets of the Scroll. Okay, let's go meet Lenny. I hope you weren't waiting long, Lenny. I came as fast as I could. I'm quite curious to hear what decoding the encrypted scroll has to do with astronomy class. Of course, there's one image pattern in the cryptogram that has been giving me trouble. I studied for weeks before I noticed an important clue. Each image corresponds to a constellation. So what does that mean? It means the images I've been studying are actually a sequence of constellation names. The sequence goes Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, and then there's a blank. It's all a bit complicated, but if you can help me fill in that blank, I'll have what I need to decode the scroll. Then let's get started. All right, but before we do, there's something I need to know. Puzzling together requires a lot of trust. Mm -hmm. I know we only just met, but do you trust in my puzzling abilities? Of course, you sound like you know what you're doing. Brilliant, I was hoping you'd say that. Hearing that gives me the confidence I need to get this done. Now listen closely while I repeat the sequence. Study the astrolobe and find the pattern in these constellations that will help me crack the code. Okay. Do, do, do. Tap, tap, tap. I need five stars. The nice thing about getting these five stars, I can use it for, to get the for the little contest off to the side here. I think there's a, a skin for an animal and a new costume. Oh, thought I was done. A little bit more. There we go. Yes, full stars. Cress, that's it. Had a brain fart for a second. I can see why you're having trouble. I can't spot any clear pattern on the astrolobe, but I do realize something. According to some of the students here, the names you read before, read before, aren't just constellations, they're astrological signs. Perhaps we're looking in the wrong place. We may not need an astrolobe at all. Merlin's beard! The thought had never even occurred to me. To be honest, I don't put much stock in astrology as a form of divination. Myself, I prefer the clear logical system of Arithmancy. Well, if I'm right, a quick look at an astrology textbook could be enough to find the answer we're looking for. Then it's time to head back to my favorite place in all of Hogwarts, the library. Brilliant, I'll meet you there. With any luck, we can fill in the blank that in that sequence and crack the scroll's code. Then we'll know for sure, certain, if someone at Hogwarts is in danger. Okay, that's part one of that. Lenny is ready to work. You'll want to hurry. He's expecting you. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. I was researching this online, and apparently this little squiggly thing at the start is to remind you that this takes place at an earlier time when your MC is younger, and... So what happens is if you're in beyond, you're an adult. So they do that. It's kind of like a reminder of like a memory. I was wondering why it was like that. And I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense now. It's kind of like what they do in uh, TV shows. Hi, Grogu. I got all the books on astrology that I could find. Brilliant. Thanks, Lenny. Now we can get to work. We need to see if you, if I'm right to think the pattern we're looking for is astrological rather than astronomical. I can't believe I didn't think of it. I'm so happy you were there to help. I never would have solved it without you. 
Don't thank me quite yet. We still need to identify the pattern and fill in the blank in the sequence you read. You're right. Remember the image sequence goes Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, and then blank. Just read those books and look for a pattern. If we can fill in that blank, you can crack the cryptogram. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Shouldn't take long. I'm only going to get three stars. Do, do, do. Wow, might as well just get the rest of them. I went so fast. There we go. My fingers go a little too fast sometimes. Blimey, I've got it. The series of missing astrological signs for July and August. Think about it. Each sign corresponds to two months. Taurus is April and May, Gemini. In April and May, Gemini is May and June. And Cancer is June and July. And then there's a blank. By the order of Merlin, I think you're right. That's the constellation name we're missing. The sign for July and August. Do you recall which sign is, it corresponds to July and August? It's Leo. Leo's a sign for those born in the second half of July or the first half of August. That's it. Leo is a missing constellation. You've filled in the blank. Thanks to you, we've completed the sequence and I finally have what I need. I just need the time to plug this in and crack the cryptogram. Then I can decode the scroll and we can all read it. Brilliant. While you do that, I'll go tell Penny and Ben the good news. Soon we'll be able to read the scroll and know for certain if someone at Hogwarts is in danger. Hmm. This is kind of interesting. I like this one. Whew, that was hard on the eyes. Okay, update pa Ben and Penny. Ah, the squigginess. Squigglies. <clears throat> Hi, ben, Pen, Penny and Ben. Thanks for meeting me. I've got great news. I hope it's about the scroll. I've been ready to boldly rescue someone at Hogwarts from an untimely death since we opened it. As it turns out, the scroll's encoded with a cryptogram. That's why we couldn't make any sense of it. But I helped a young Ravenclaw named Lenny P Pindlebrook get what he needed to crack its code. He's the code that can scroll as we speak. Then we can read it and find out who, if anyone, is in danger. Here's Lenny now. The scroll must be ready for us to read. It's nice to meet you, Lenny. I'm Penny Haywood, and this is Ben Cooper. But do you have something in your eye, or perhaps practicing a spell? Your fingers keep waggling. Oh, don't worry, Penny. That finger-waggling thing is what Lenny does when he's thinking. Oh, yes. Excuse me. Sorry. It's nice to meet you, too. I, um, I'm thinking quite hard, actually. There's been a development, and um, it's quite puzzling. I'm not sure what to do. It's all right, Lenny. Tell us what happened. I'm sure we can figure out how to help. Whoa. Seems like the screen's glitching when I switch. I don't know why. Do, 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 do. Come on. Do, 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 do. Tap, 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 tap. There we go. Tapping music. Music to tap by. I see. So you cracked the cryptogram and were ready to code the scroll, but now it's gone missing? Yes, I'm afraid. After cracking the code, all I need to do is finish decoding the text. I got up from the table to consult a book in the stacks, and when I came back, the scroll was gone. Guess who that is? Probably Marula. It's always Marula. I'm so sorry to let you down, Grogu, especially right after you said you trusted me. Are you mad at me for losing the scroll? No, it wasn't your fault. Someone must have taken it. I'm quite glad to hear that, Grogu. I promise I'll do everything I can to help you find the scroll. If it went missing in the library, perhaps someone picked it up and checked it out. I was certainly eager to snatch it up the moment it was returned. I might not be the only one. That's good thinking, Penny. If someone's checked it out, Madame Pence should know who it was. 
I'll go talk to her and find out if you're right. Since Madam Pence is partial to you, Lenny, you should come with me. That will make things much easier. Brilliant. Let's go talk to Madam Pence and find out who may have taken the scroll. Hurry. We still don't know if it holds dark prophecies about someone here at Hogwarts. It could be any of us. Okay, I think we got one more part, one more piece to go, and then we'll be finished part two. Yep. Okay. Hmm. More squigglies. All right, we just need to find Madame Pence and ask her if anyone checked out the scroll. Then we can finally read it and make sure no one at Hogwarts is in danger. Yes, but I don't see her anywhere. Ooh, that's dizzying. Perhaps she's still at Flourish and Bots or some other errand. Hopefully she'll be back soon. Let's search where you had last had the scroll while we wait. Perhaps you misplaced it, or perhaps we'll find a clue. Still says Marilla. She's a sneaky one, so it wouldn't really surprise me at all. Oh, yeah. It's like, why can't I click? They want a certain animation to go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Him and his finger wagging. Gonna lose his finger one day if he keeps pointing. Oh, stop it. Ah, this is annoying. Takes forever to click. And I'm tapping as fast as my fingers can take me but come on do stop it <sighs> takes forever because he just keeps stopping and then one's got to go to the other part and it's like, come on. There. Oh, come on. <laughs> there. I didn't find the scroll, but I did find the sprig of valyrian root. It could belong to whoever has the scroll. Oh, yes, perhaps someone was on their way to potions class and dropped it. I believe Professor Snape was reviewing Drought of Living Death earlier today. This is a key ingredient. All of this suggests we're looking for a student. There she is. Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice you two searching all over the place and waving roots in the air. Tell me, what is this all about? Madam Pence, you're back. We were hoping to talk with you. Lenny and I were studying the scroll you and I discussed before, but it seems someone may have taken it. Has anyone checked it out from the library since Penny did? I'm certain no one has. This means the two of you have, been, have misplaced library property. I knew something just like this was going to happen. Normally, I would ban you from the library for destroying or disappearing school property. Oh, no. However, as Lenny demonstrated exemplary library behavior before taking up with the likes of you, I will forego this punishment this one time, provided you locate the scroll and return it immediately. Banned from the library? I can't be banned from the library, Grogu. The Hogwarts library is my whole life. It's my home. We have to do something. We have to hurry. We will, Lenny. We will figure this out. Just calm down. I'm so sorry to get so worked up. I'm so embarrassed. 
I can't believe I lost my cool in front of you. You're Grogu, baby. This whole time I wanted to impress you. But you probably think someone so devoted to the library is a bit odd, don't you? You're not odd at all. Many of my closest friends are library devotees. That's so wonderful to hear. Thank you, Grogu. Knowing you feel that way will help me stay calm and focus on the task at hand. Good, because getting banned from the library would mean bad things for my studies and for future adventures. We need to work together to find that scroll so we can prevent Madam Pence from losing her cool. If no one checked it out, and it's not misplaced anywhere around here, it seems like someone took it. Other than me, you, me, Penny, and Ben, I can't think of anyone who might be interested in taking the scroll. There is one other person who seemed to take an interest in a scroll when she found out about it. She is a type of witch who might take a library item without checking it out if she wanted it badly enough. It's time I went and had a talk with Marula Snide. If Marula has the scroll, I can take it back. We can read it, return it, and no one will get banned from the library. Okie doke, that is part two. This is getting real interesting. So, that's part two of, uh, of the Lost Prophecy. So, we are going to... We're going to go to part three very soon. So, that's the end of part two. I'm going to end the video here. And take a breather, and then I'll be doing part three soon. So, stay tuned for more adventures. Hogwarts uh, Mystery. And feel free to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more Harry Potter Hogwarts mystery content. And as usual, happy topping because this is the way.